Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Wednesday, September 20th. We are seeing much clearer skies today as the effects from Hurricane Jose have diminished as the storm has moved well northeast of the area. Taking a look at our surface analysis here, we do see um, Jose is now a tropical storm, and it is well northeast of the region, just to the south of uh, Cape Cod at this time. Um, and in its wake, we've been left with some subsidence across the mid-Atlantic region, and that has helped to really clear out those skies and given us um, a mostly sunny morning here, which is uh, a little bit less clouds than we were expecting yesterday. And so that is going to help give us um, some good sunshine today, which will help bring uh, those temperatures up to unseasonably warm levels. Taking a look at our satellite here, you can see there's that uh, still cloud swirl from Tropical Storm Jose. And then in their wake, there's really not much in the way of clouds here across the Del Marva, and that is um, going to be expected for much of the day today before we get a little bit more cl cloud cover building in tonight. But we are expecting just uh, partly cloudy skies for the remainder of the week. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar loop here across the Mid-Atlantic. We are just seeing, um, like I said, mostly sunny skies this morning. Not, not seeing any shower activity whatsoever in the entire Mid-Atlantic region. But we are seeing some um, northwesterly winds running around 8 to 13 knots this morning. But those should uh, aren't expected to increase at all as we go throughout the day. And those will become pretty light as we go into tonight. So we are expecting a rather beautiful day out there today. As of 8 a.m., we were seeing just a few lingering clouds near 2,000 feet and then scattered decks at 6 and 8,000 feet with unrestricted visibility. We are seeing winds at azimuth 300 at 8 knots with a temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Taking a look at our weather chart here, we're not going to be seeing any chance for uh, weather hazards today. We are going to be just seeing a high in the mid-80s, around 84 degrees. Due to the high surf, though, still associated with Tropical Storm Jose, there is a coastal flood warning in effect for Accomack County until 1 p.m. this afternoon, and that is just due to high tide and the high surf um, from the lingering effects from Jose. As we go looking through our terminal forecast here, we're going to just continue to see partly cloudy skies throughout the day, mainly seeing that scattered deck around 8,000 feet through much of the day. We will see some serious clouds start to creep into the area afternoon. And as we go into tonight, we're going to start to see those lower level clouds around 4,000 feet moving to the area with a deck near 10,000 feet. And that uh, cirrus deck will become broken as we go into the overnight hours. We also see those lower level clouds start to thicken up a bit, becoming um, scattered to broken around the 4,000 to 5,000 foot level as we go through Thursday morning. For the next few days here, we are going to be looking at uh, no weather hazards for the remainder of the work week. It's going to be another beautiful day as we go into tomorrow with a high of 83. Most of the cloudy skies early becoming partly cloudy by the afternoon. And then for Thursday night, it's going to be partly cloudy and mild with a low of 65. And Friday's looking like another uh, very pleasant day under partly cloudy skies with a high of 81. That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing. Where we will also be talking about... Um, Hurricane Maria, which is currently impacting Puerto Rico, and any possible impacts it will have to the Mid-Atlantic region sometime late next week. Have a great day.